Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And when I did a review of this Klein ratcheting screwdriver a little bit ago, and in fact other screwdrivers in the past, uh, more than a few comments have suggested I give this Mega Pro um, a look. So I went ahead and ordered one. This thing was, was almost 25 bucks. Um, and it's non-ratcheting. It's basically a bit driver. Uh, it has a carousel in the back. This carousel spins. Um, and I'm kind of underwhelmed. You know, I, I did like that it came in different colors, including this bright orange. I do like orange tools. Um, and I thought maybe it would end up at a uh, in an overlanding bag or something, but I'm not sure. And help me out here. Am I missing something? Because here's what's going on. First of all, it is, it is a... Uh, a uh, heavier, larger bit driving screwdriver that contains um, 14 different possible bits, seven bits in a carousel, and then you can use the tip as a as a uh, quarter inch driver, nut driver. Uh, this is their what they kind of call their original model. It's the simplest. They make ratcheting ones. They make them with steel or stainless steel um, shafts, etc. But uh, let's see the handle. It's ABS plastic. They call it Triax, and um, it to me it feels pretty hard, pretty slippery. Um, and ABS plastic. One of the reasons it's often not used in a lot of tools is because it's sensitive to ultraviolet light. So if you leave the tool out in the sun, it can um, affect the brittleness of this. ABS is known for being super tough, very abrasion resistant, etc. But it can get brittle, so you can crack it. Um, and apparently they have a lifetime warranty on these and they claim that they haven't had any broken handles. Um, inside here, it's got kind of a sharper edge than um, I, I guess I was prepared for. This is actually a nice smooth bit carousel. Very well designed the way it, it opens and closes. Good purchase here with these these um, depressions in the palm cap. It does have a spinning palm cap. Um, it's pretty smooth. Again, that's the ABS plastic right there. But if you really push, you can actually get it to um, get it to remain still while you're applying a lot of pressure. Um, so one of the things that they they call that is the uh, palm saver cap. So if you're really pushing down hard, you can actually um, you know not feel it in the back. Although you know a lot of these kind of do similar things. Um, another thing. They have this collar up front, uh, and this one is is designed, you know, to help you line it up. But it is really stiff, and it this is a real smooth spot or or, or loose spot, and then it tightens up right there. You can even, in fact, I can show you by this the carousel spins here rather than this collar. If I go to one of those softer spots, like here you can see I can spin it. So it really, it, although it's supposed to add precision, when I started using this thing, it actually um, can, made it a little bit more difficult simply because I, I lost the resistance. I didn't know if I was turning the screw or feeling the resistance up here. I'm used to something a little bit more precise. So I don't know if I'm, it's the screw twisting hard or if it's this collar twisting hard. Um, anyway, what else? Well, here's the biggie. I'm going to throw a number three Phillips in, or number two Phillips. That's pretty common. Um, these use a ball detent. Um, I wish it had the um, the combi bit. I found that you know helpful lately. The combi bits, um, like on this Klein uh, right here, this this type of a bit. Uh, this is a combi one or combination one, combination two. But anyway, those are what you use uh, like with outlets. So I've got a outlet USB outlet and but anyway they fit nicely right into that slot where people are often struggling should they use a slotted or should they use a a, um, a Phillips you use a combi makes life a lot easier but anyway so I put the bit in got it all ready to use and the first thing I noticed is is I have to guide it in there is um, a tendency for the bit to get hung up as you're trying to put it in until it's perfect and then it slides in but often it would kind of stick in and get caught you know that's actually stuck in there um, and the, the kind of the chamfering or the, the finish work right here is a little bit rough and I tested that on a few others you can see it's a little struggle there um, this 
the uh, smoothness of the Klein here tends to guide it in. So as you're putting it, it'll kind of center itself and, and slide right in. Whereas this one, got it there. You know, it, it takes a bit. You just have to line it up before you can slide it in. And you actually have to slide it in a bunch of times because it falls out pretty easy. Uh, check this out. So I've got this. I'm just holding it and I give it a little shake and it tips over. Uh, not a scientific test. We'll do that in a sec. But um, the weight of this easily overcomes the bit there. So let's try it with this Klein. Stick it there. Number two Phillips in. Look at that. I'm shaking it hard. Nothing. So is that real or is that just my imagination? Um, so first I, I took a close look at this bit. Um, first thing I wanted to do was measure it. So I've got my digital caliper here. I am using inches this time. So I slide that up. I've got two point, they're point two four eight. Um, what I want ideally, I guess, would be uh, point two five or two five zero would be one quarter of an inch. So is that normal or not? Um, let's take the Klein here, line that one up. Two four nine five. So that's five one thousandths, or excuse me, was that ten thousandths? Yeah. So there's ones, tens, hundreds, or thousands. Yeah, five thousandths. Well, it's it's beyond what this is doing. It's rounding at that point. Um, what about snap on? I've got my little orange one here. Now this doesn't have the ball detent, but it's the same kind of quarter inch design. So let's see what a snap on here is. Look at that. That's what I was talking about. So want snap on precision? That's what you're paying for. Um, but let's talk about the feel of it because it, it seems to want to pop out um, quite easily. Even if I put the Klein one in, but the Klein's a little bit stronger, but still, so this is a little bit wider. I discovered when I measured that. And let's uh, let's put this one back in and test it. So what I've got for a testing apparatus here, move some stuff away, um, is I have a spring scale. This is gonna measure, I've got both grams and newtons here, but I'm gonna build a little testing apparatus. Looks like that. I'm gonna drop it over the bit here um, till it snugs on, good enough. And you can see that there is a gap, so I'm not, um, I'm not losing any purchase in there. Can you see that? There's a little bit of a gap, so I'll throw my scale on here and see what's going on. Oops, get this straightened out. Trying to make it simple here. So we hook this on. Here it is. I'll hold it back here. So you can see as the scale starts moving, okay, there's 100 grams, 200 grams, 300 grams, and it's starting to pop out. So 300 grams. Try it again real quick. There we go. So at 300 grams, roughly, it pops out. What about the Klein? Let's try that. So I'll take the Klein bit here, throw my testing apparatus on it, cinch it down, see if that still has a gap. Give it a little bit more. Here we go. So there's plenty of gap. Here we go. Here's the Klein. So that one went out. I got, I was, looked like around 800 to me. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it wasn't because the apparatus broke off. The bit stayed in, so I didn't have this tight enough. Let me try that again. Maybe I didn't have it on a surface. Come on. There we go. Close enough. Cinch that down nice and snug. Maybe give it a test here. Okay, that should stay on. Oops, 
These are reverse threaded, so I keep messing it up. All right, should be good. Let's try this again. So here we are with the Klein and the scale. Maxed out the scale. Holding that bit in. So, is it a um, an observation or an actual measurement? In this case, it's an actual measurement. Uh, that's more than three times the bit holding, which is why this falls out, which is why you keep having to stick it back in there. Anyway, so I'm underwhelmed there. Um, and for 25 bucks, this was 19. Of course, this was made in Taiwan, I believe, versus made in America. Um, I do like that it's bright orange. These bits, uh, they seem a little undersized when I measured them. You saw that, you know, using the caliper. They seem just a little bit small. Um, the fit seems fine. They claim they're very strong bits um, and can be used in drills as well. But overall, uh, am I missing something here? It's kind of a slippery hard handle. It's heavy. Uh, balance points way back, but that's to be expected here. Um, sometimes on like ratcheting, you're moving a mechanism up forward too. So, um, you know, the balance point here is slightly back from the index finger, whereas here, you know, it's way back in this area here somewhere. So this is stiff. Um, I, I just, I don't know why they're, what, what the allure is here. So help me out. What am I missing? Or maybe I just got a bum one. You know, I get enough tools that I start to get out into that percentage where things slip by. You've seen that in my other videos. Um, but the Mega Pro uh, original ratcheting, or I mean, um, bit driver with carousel in high-vis orange. So let me know. With that, duck out.